Hi, it's Craig. I'm with the Theta360.guy. And I've recently started to experiment more with the Theta V plugin development. In particular, I've been experimenting with different types of applications, um, many that you can just download from the Android uh, APK sites and install them into the Theta V to see whether they work. So I've got audio working on the Theta V. The Theta V does have a speaker. I can play music. I can play human speech on it. I can also stream uh, speech over, in this case, Facebook Messenger and other applications and have that audio come out through the Theta V speaker. The next clip, the audio is a little bit shaky, but uh, I'm getting some feedback. That's the reason I think I can definitely improve the audio quality on this. I'm also getting streaming video from the Theta V. So if I boot the Theta V into client mode Wi-Fi, I can connect the Theta V to the hotspot in my office, then the Theta V can get access to the internet directly. Once it's connected to the internet directly, I can receive a, a video signal from my friend, Jesse Kasman, using Facebook Messenger and see the video. Um, I'm using a tool called Visor, but it's very exciting. And um, I'll just show you a couple of quick clips to show you that it does, it does work. In the image on the left, I'm using Visor to display the image from the Theta V hardware. This is not an emulator, it's actually running on the Theta V. I sent a 360 image directly from the Theta V images that stored on the camera over Facebook Messenger. And my friend Jesse received it. Because Facebook Messenger can display 360 images, if you click on the thumbnail, it does open up into a full screen 360 image that you can navigate. Using Visor, the Theta V can display the video that's coming over Facebook Messenger. As the camera does not have a screen on it, uh, you'd either need to use Visor to display the video stream, or maybe in the future, there might be a cheaper external screen for the Theta V so that you could use it and display the video. That, but it is good to know that the video does come in. So as you can tell from that clip, I'm getting a bit of audio feedback. Uh, that's because of the, the microphone setup. But I think in the next two clips, you'll see uh, what it normally sounds like with a human speech and with music. It gives you a better idea that, although the speaker is fairly small inside of the camera, it can output a reasonable quality that you can hear. And actually, even with Facebook Messenger, when I hear it and I'm not recording, it does sound normal. Hi, right, thanks for joining me. Uh, as you can see, it's fairly easy to get the Theta V working with a number of third-party uh, Android packages right now. Uh, this means that in the future, 
will be able to build applications specifically for the Theta V so that they work with the button presses and work um, without visor. But right now we just wanted to test out that the networking does work, the speakers do work, uh, a whole bunch of other things on the Theta V gives it a north level of flexibility. So I hope you do join the Theta V program. Please do subscribe to this channel if you like it. Um, give us a thumbs up and they will We'll produce more videos like this. If you aren't interested in the plugins or don't like this format, just give it a thumbs down. And please do sign up for the Theta V development program.